What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. This is MB200 and we're going to be installing Go Power Sports front disc brake kit. This is a full bolt-on kit, no fabrication required, and it comes with a brand new rim as well as the tires on that rim. It has a disc brake already installed on it, all the bracketry you need, and the caliper and a new master cylinder to go on the right hand side of your handlebars. Go Power Sports also sells this heavy duty triple tree clamp. This is your upper clamp. The bottom one on this bike is already really beefy, but we're gonna beef up the upper stamp steel one with a quarter inch thick uh, triple tree clamp. So this will stiffen up our front end because when you do put front disc brakes on something like this, it puts a lot of force in this front end. So Go Power Sports is, is giving you the parts to be able to beef this thing up and make it the best mini bike on the market. And it already is, we're just adding even more goodness to it. So let's jump right into it, get this installed first, and we'll get that brake kit installed as well. So first off, we're gonna unbolt this uh, whole handlebar setup and our clamps. We're gonna unbolt this off so we can pull these two 14 millimeter bolts out. Then we can use a larger socket. All the tools used will be on screen. So this is a 16 mil wrench to break these nuts loose. Pull that you can see the thickness difference this is probably eighth inch stamped and this is quarter inch just solid plate cut out so super beefy there we go so that took just a few minutes to install that and that's going to brace up our front end a ton There we go. It looks pretty much stock. You can't even tell that we upgraded anything, but it's way stronger than this setup. Like I said, this is gonna do a lot for the stress on our front end from this new front disc brake kit. So I'm gonna start my bolt through this side with my wheel up. So next we can take this L-shaped bracket, slide it right on there, and we're just gonna snug up all of the nuts right now. We're just gonna leave that snug. So this kit comes with some of this foam. This is just to protect your forks from getting all beat up from tightening this clamp down. So we'll put that in both on both sides of the clamp. So now with that foam on the inside of there, we put our Allens in and our lock washers is gonna be in between these two halves and it just keeps it from crushing this actual tube. So now we're gonna sandwich these two pieces in between. These are just gonna act as spacers. We're gonna go in between there. Put our bolt in there to line it all up. We have them stacked. Now we can bolt our caliper on the back side. We just hook our caliper onto our disc, get it slid up into place. Then we go ahead and tighten our axle bolt. Once we have the caliper on, we can now tighten up this clamp. Now we can get our master cylinder installed on our handlebars. We're gonna take out the two eight mil bolts. We're gonna run our master cylinder through this hole here, up and around. Just clamp it onto our handlebars. So now we can test them out. We have front disc brakes. Now 
We are going to want to zip tie this out of harm's way. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out the links in the video's description for this front mini bike brake kit, as well as all the other parts used on this mini bike. We put the Tillotson 225 on this bike in the last episode, and it does over 60 miles per hour. This thing is super fun, and now we're gonna be able to stop safely with all that horsepower that we've added to the chassis. This brake kit is sold out as of the time making this video, but they are restocking them as fast as possible. So stay patient, guys. If you have MB200, I highly recommend picking up this kit. It takes no longer than 30 minutes to install. Super easy, no fabrication. We did have to paint all of our parts. They come as bare steel, but it took about 30 minutes to sand them down and uh, spray some gloss black spray paint on it. So let us know what you think about this mini bike build. We're doing the ultimate MB200. A lot more stuff to come on this video, so stay tuned, guys. We thank you so much for watching and supporting us. We love you, and God bless.